ISS from that location. And then uh, the shuttle's robotic arm will reach over and uh, grapple the fixture on the end of the OBSS. Station arm will release and the shuttle arm will move the OBSS out of the uh, area so that it will uh, not be there to be damaged or to get in the way of tomorrow's installation of the Columbus Laboratory module, which we see clearly in the uh, aft portion of the payload bay. Tomorrow the shuttle, uh, rather the station arm, will uh, grapple Columbus and uh, lift it from that location, move it into position on the uh, starboard side of the Harmony node, which is on the other side of the station from our current view and uh, attach it there uh, about 3.30 tomorrow afternoon, just after the scheduled conclusion of the spacewalk. The first entry into the uh, Columbus airlock is scheduled on Monday. European Space Agency astronaut Leopold Ayarts, who is due to uh, make the official transfer onto the space station crew to relieve Dan Tani tomorrow. Uh, the ESA astronaut from France will take the lead in the activation of the Columbus, uh, Columbus Laboratory, assisted by station commander Peggy Whitson and uh, his European astronaut corps colleague Hans Schlegel. And now a live look inside the International Space Station. Inside the uh, Destiny Laboratory, Leland Melvin there in the center of the frame, just beyond him at the robotics workstation is uh, Leo Arts. The green shirt belongs to uh, station crew member Dan Tani, who will uh, hand over officially to Leo Arts tomorrow and become a member of the STS-122 crew and uh, who will return to Earth on board Atlantis. Tani now in his 110th day in space. And the view we're getting now is as the crew members are setting up at the robotics workstation inside Destiny for that uh, grapple of and handoff of the orbiter boom sensor system. Okay, yeah, the muting plug.